Hi, I'm Dr. Peregrino Brimer, and uh, what I want to talk about is very important in Nigeria right now because um, there's this whole thing going on in the country, um, which is the there's this Radio Biafra movement headed by a certain guy called Nwaneka um, Eni Kenny Oku Kanu, um, who goes by the alias um, Namdi Kanu. So he's promoting this Biafra agitation among, let's say, rather disenfranchised youth, which we have a lot of in Nigeria, you know, because Nigeria has been misruled for so long. The last 16 years were woeful under this PDP administration, which he actually ascribes to. And because of that, you have over 74 million youth who are unemployed. So, you know, these frustrated youth are, you know, they are easy targets for capture by different radicals like, you know, Shekau, Boko Haram. And then, so he too, I believe, in my view and my analysis of it, you know, he, um, this radio station used to promote the PDP and Jonathan government. And now that that, you know, was dismantled, the minute they saw that government was losing, um, he's gathering these youth to promote this Biafra concept. And now, myself and our organization we totally respect the rights of individuals to self-determination if approached through the right ways um which is which are decent ways and not you know resorting to violence but surprisingly the minute um the former president who this station used to promote good luck jonathan who was kicked out largely due to corruption um the minute his administration ended um the radio biafra people were seen going all over the world and there's a video of namdi kanu um in um, Los Angeles at the Igbo World Forum, where he is um, soliciting for guns and weapons. Uh, let me get that. So he's soliciting for guns and weapons. So the minute um, the government came out, the Jonathan government, you know, was kicked out. You know, they basically wanted to resort to violence and all kind of methods like that to try to achieve this so-called Biafra restoration. And in this video, you know, Namdi Kanu is asking for uh, guns and weapons. In any case, so now the the issue that we are talking about right now is what is Biafra and where is Biafra? Because what Namdi Kanu's um, organization, what they try to do is they try to claim that they are trying to restore, um, trying to restore Biafra. So while they claim they are trying to restore Biafra, there's this whole question of, you know, where is Biafra? What is what is Biafra? So this is a post on Radio Biafra on April 20th, 2014. And it's like saying, this is from Namdi Kanu back then, and he's saying three steps to Biafra restoration. So, you know, possibly this is true. And if this is true, then, you know, if they go through the right approach, which rather interestingly, they didn't even ask the current president Buhari what his opinion was on you know any kind of restoration they just started looking for guns and arms and you know so in any case is it true that there was a Biafra because um, the history that Namdi Kanu is a, is a rather radical guy the history that he promotes to his disciples is that you know they never originated from Nigeria they came from Biafra so Biafra is their fatherland so I came across this rather interesting article today which put serious holes in that entire story and i was astonished to see these kind of facts revealed and the summary of it is biafra was never a part of nigeria and this is you know this is bewildering so here is a map now these maps can be seen i've cross-checked these maps these maps can be found on the princeton university uh website let's look for that so these maps can be found on the Princeton um, University website. And on these maps, this is Princeton University, let's click that. So these maps can be seen here. This is 1955, uh, 1555. This is one of the old, old maps. And, you know, anybody can, you know, look up these things ourselves. So if we look at some of these maps, you look at the area, the territory, which was called Biafra. And what surprises you is... The minute you pull these up, you find out that Biafra is way out of Nigeria. It was never within the Nigerian territory. In fact, you know, this is something that people call um, 419, or advanced fraud, when, you know, people use illegitimate claims to do things uh, to try to extort or, you know, gain advantage. The area 
in all old maps was Benin. Now, these maps are here, they, they are loading slowly. But if you take a look, they've been nicely expanded in this article. And you can see this is a 1710 map. And this is the area where Nigeria is. And this, this piece here is expanded here. And you can see this edge, this corner, this tip. And Nigeria goes up like this. Okay. Nigeria goes up like this. Nigeria goes up like this. So all this area, now this is the area that's called Biafra. Okay. This is Biafra. And this is Nigeria. And this area, as you could see, is called Benin. You know, so when the white people came and they were drawing these maps and they saw the Benin Kingdom, which was very large, this area was called Benin. And this area here, which is in Cameroon and goes down, is actually what is Biafra. Now, if you take a look in this map that has been well highlighted, you can see that. So this is the tip. This is the corner. Now, these islands, this is Principe and this is uh, St. Thomas's Islands around here. And this line, this is where... Biafra started. So Biafra goes to the right here and all in this area is Biafra. And in this whole area, including parts of Cameroon, are actually Benin. So these are mapped out as Benin, as you can see in the first map we looked at. In this other map from 1644, you see the same thing. You see this part now, Nigeria goes up like this and then cuts up like this. All that area is Benin. And then to the right and below is Biafra. So Biafra was never part of Nigeria. So if Namdi Kanu really believes his ancestors are from Biafra, then this is where Namdi Kanu is from. He's from, Cross, um, from Cameroon. He is from Equatorial Guinea and Gabon, which are here. Because Nigeria ends right here, all within this area that is mapped as Benin. And this is the 1644 map. Um, this is another map here, which illustrates it again. This area in red is Benin. And this is Biafra, which is this white area. And you can see this, this line here. And this line here corresponds on an equivalent map to this area. So it goes up like this. So there's a, you know, so when it goes up like this, this area is called Biafra, which is here, which is the Biafra area. And this area is Benin. So Biafra is way out of Nigeria. In fact, one of the maps illustrates how far out it is. Where is that map? That's this one. This map illustrates how far out Biafra is. And you can see a certain river here, which is River Camarones. Um, this river is today called River Wori. And Wori is, let's look at where this River Wori is in, so that we can know this is the, what, the eastern extreme of Benin and the beginning of Biafra. Let's look at where that same river is in, in today's map. This is River Wori going up like this. So we are talking about this boundary. So Biafra starts at this boundary here and nowhere here. So all this is Benin. So we don't know how this error came. Maybe it's because Odumegu Ojuku, who was the pr premier of the Eastern region, maybe he liked that name Biafra and decided to, you know, use that name. But Or perhaps he knows some history and knows that he originates from these areas. We don't understand how that works. But Biafra was never, never a part of Nigeria. And the final part piece of the puzzle is the naming of Biafra. And Encyclopedia Britannica actually says how and where Biafra was named and if you take a look within it says um, this is the 11th to 12th edition it says the name Biafra uh, here's it. the bite of Biafra or Mafra named after the town of Mafra in southern Portugal between Capes Formosa and Lopez is the most eastern part of the Gulf of Guinea it contains the islands Fernando Po Princes and St. Thomas's, the name Biafra as, indicated, as indicating the country fell into disuse in the later part of the 19th century. So it was the Portuguese who named this area Biafra after Mafra, and um, you can see Mafra in Portugal right here. So they named the area Biafra after Mafra, and that country that they named Biafra was within Cameroon, uh, Equatorial Guinea. Um, these are people from Biafra, from the real Biafra. These are real Biafrans. These are Equatorial Guineans and warriors. And this was an area here, um, which was called, which the Portuguese named Biafra. So, um, it, in summary, it would be useful, you know, if they, they restructure their agitation, you know, we, we, we don't know what they're up to, but, you know, it's just important that people keep, you know, intellectual and honest conversations. All right, have 
um, good good luck and um, God bless everybody who listened. Thank you. Bye bye. Dr. Peregrine O'Brien here.